Hi everyone, it's Dita, and this video is going to be some of my caving tips and techniques. Most of the footage is from a deception season that we scrapped. Uh, it was recorded last summer, so a year ago, and it was season 3 for anyone who was wondering. I ended up mining full diamond enchants and a little bit extra in approximately an hour. The rest of the clips are just from a single player world. I recorded me mining to show off some of the techniques that I use when I'm caving. To start off, I'm gonna show how caves are generated. This is a 1.8 and as you can see, the caves, there's no recognizable pattern between how they're generated. And you see this like big gap in between all of the cave structures. So you know those moments where you're just like mining and it seems like forever? Yeah, you're stuck in one of these whole things. Uh, yeah, it sucks. Sometimes you get lucky and you'll mine to like diamonds or gold, but for the most part, Staying in caves, I guess this is tip number one, staying in caves is the best way to get full diamond. You can cover more ground, and the more ground you cover, the more likely you are to run into diamonds. Tip number two is to find a surface cave to go into. If your cave ends pretty quickly, like in this clip it ends at around Y40, dig straight down from the end of the cave, because of how caves are generated, there's more likely going to be a cave structure right underneath, or a part of the exact same cave right underneath uh, where you've dug down. Honestly, it's a lot better than just digging straight down from a random spot on the surface. Tip number three kind of goes along with tip number two, which is if you see a gravel patch at the end of the cave, mine the gravel patch. Almost always, there's another section of the cave behind or below the gravel patch that is covered from view by the gravel. Tip number four, there's more of a caving preference of mine, and that is if I get to the end of a ravine, I'll pillar up to Y32, or as high as I can in the ravine, and then I will staircase from that point. Now, I have two reasons for doing this. One is that, for some reason, when I do this, I almost always find gold right where I'm digging, at the very top of a ravine. The second reason is that I don't want to have to spend time staircasing up to Y32 just to staircase back down, so I just go straight up and then staircase down, and I feel like I cover more ground in the area that I want to find a cave in, which is under Y32, where I can find all the good stuff. Tip number five is to follow the lava pools. Always dig around lava pools because you can A, find another cave that's connected by these lava pools, or two, I just went from A to two, what the heck, or B, you could actually find diamonds while digging around the lava pools. Tip number six is to mine any ores that you come across. As shown in this video, I mined redstone while I was staircasing, which led to iron, which led to diamonds. Maybe there's gonna be diamonds behind this iron. <gasps> Sick, man. <laughs> Tip number seven, highlighted ores. You can see ores that are hidden under the lava. For these next couple tips, I'm gonna put a little warning. I don't suggest using them unless you record because they could look like x-ray if you do get lucky with them. Some of these things could actually be against server rules, so always be aware of whatever rules the server you're playing on has, and also just be extremely careful. Tip number eight, poke holing. Pretty self-explanatory, you just poke into a wall, poke into the ceiling, poke into the floor. Uh, basically, you're just trying to get lucky finding diamonds at Y11, and here's a clip that I totally didn't plant diamonds in just to make it look like I found some XD. Tip number nine, digging straight up or down while in a mineshaft. Uh, because of how mineshafts are generated, there could be another section of unexplored mineshaft right above or below the section that you're in. Again, be extremely cautious when you, when doing this because if you happen to dig up into a spot where there, where there is a chest, that looks even more suspicious than just you digging up to another section of the mineshaft. Tip number 10 is a reiteration of tip number one, which is basically just to keep moving. The more cave systems you get through and the further distance you go, the more likely you're going to find ores. I'm not saying to not explore the tiny little sections of your cave, but do it quickly. Don't loiter around. Don't smelt things when you could be exploring cave. I guess just use your time wisely and always look at your cords and make sure that you're not going to loop back around into your old cave. Pick a direction, and if, you're, if your cave ends, then go into that direction. Staircasing, strip mining, whatever it is. Uh, as you can see in these screenshots, 
For the deception season, I started at around 600 on my X and negative 700 on my Z, and I ended at around 600 on my X and negative 200 on my Z, which means that I went approximately 500 blocks, not counting little loops and zigzags through the caves. So this is the end of my caving tips video. I hope that you find these to be extremely helpful and that you increase the number of diamonds that you find every game. More than likely, I forgot a few things that people should know about, so hi, Stella. So if you have a tip that I forgot, please comment down below, and I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.